Welcome, welcome back to Twying Game, where we are going on to part two of Battle Cats. This part, we're going to be working on learning the game. Here we go. So when you get onto the main screen, you will have Battle Cats Rising, the story, and special events. So it says event stage. First, we'll go into this one. Oh, bonus item, nice. So clearing grace stage to unlock the special unit bean cat. That would be so cute. Look how cute they are. Special bonus received. A rare ticket. This is awesome because I need to show you guys what that does. So if you look at the bottom center here on the right hand side, it says rare cat capsule and it has a one by it because I have one ticket for it. So I can try for one of these or one of these. And these are the only two capsules going on right now. Now I did get one of these ones already. I have not got one of these ones yet. So let's try this. Oh. Stilts cat. Now you can press the use now button to get it right away, or you can press the okay button and you can go back and get it later. I always click the use now button, cause why not, right? Yes, I want to unlock this character. Now let's go back into cat capsules, just the regular ones. It's just a regular cat capsule. I could try it once, but I don't have a ticket. And when you do get them, it would be in your storage, which I have nothing in here right now. That's where it would go if you don't press the use now button. And obviously storage, which I just showed you I don't have anything in there, but when you do win things, that's where they go. Now let's check our missions. These are the missions I need to complete in order to get these rewards. I can show claimed, and these are the missions that I've completed. Let's go back. Now menu, cat guide. Right now it's just showing the normal, but you can press filter. I usually just click on all these. It'll show all your cats that way. Let's just go in and click on stilts cat. Five cat food, which is amazing. Okay, let's see. A cat so ambitious that he built wooden stilts to better reach for the stars. Knock back angels every once in a while. If you can see in the top right here, there's little squares. If you click on them, unit has a set chance to push indicated enemy types back towards their base. Only one enemy within range will be hit by this unit's attack. Effective against angels. But I thought the things were fish. Well, let's go to equipment. This is where you would arrange your battle cats. You only have two pages. So once I put this one on here, this will be my last battle cat. Uh, 380. Oh, I'm going to move him over here. Now, um, you got to be really careful about your battle cats because actually there's some won't work very well. Like, uh, my super rare. So we finished organizing. I'm going to go back to the menu and I'm just going to jump back into cat guide for one minute here. And I'll show you just a quick example here. No one digs like this guy. Don't even try. You'll lose. Only attacks metal with critical chance gains extra money when defeating enemies. Attacks by this unit will only cause damage to specific types of enemy targets. That's the metal ones. Attack by this unit only have a set chance for extra damage against metal enemies. So I believe this guy will only work if we're attacking metal. So I don't think it would be good to use him. Like I have him in my lineup because there's room and he's really expensive, but it's no good to use him unless I am battling against metal guide. Enemy guide. So you just slide your finger. It'll show you the enemies that we've fought so far. Treasure. So these are the treasures that we found so far. 
We just need four more treasures. Meow medals. You slide your finger again and it'll show you what medals you've gotten. And then my Battle Cats official battle card. My user rank is 55. And then we'll go to upgrades. So I maxed out this one right here. And these guys here. So with the upgrade cost, it says XP. If you look at the top right hand corner, the XP I have right now is 5,699. And then all these things will cost XP. I'm actually saving up for, because it only shows you the normal ones, normal ones there. Uh, rare cats, super rare cats. I find it a little interesting that they have them spread out like this, but in a good way because then I at least know which ones are my rares, my super rares and such. I haven't leveled him up yet because I don't go against any metal guys yet. Uh, these are the god upgrades, I guess, or special cats. I didn't buy any of these just because I don't want to waste my cat food on them, especially at the beginning of the game. I think my cat food would be more suitable for the draws if I can use them for that to get some better cats but right now I am using my money on these guys here sorry my XP on these guys so I'm saving up for upgrading him one more time because he's just like the best that I have at the moment that I'm using now let's get into a battle and see how it goes don't think I can defeat this one so I'm just gonna go back a level Two levels. <laughs> okay. Let's see this one. Let's go to Dubai. I kind of like that it shows uh, actual countries. I don't like to start it, uh, producing cats until they have made it about halfway. It gives me time to level up my cash so that my cash flow is a lot faster. And then, of course, the first one I'll send out is my. Um, my robot cat. The reason why I'm not too worried about that is because uh, when my cat, see my robot cat's like one-shotting these guys here, uh, but when my cat gun is ready then I can shoot them and if I, as you can see, barely does anything. Alright. If you guys are liking this game so far don't forget the link to the game is down below. Let's see what this guy does. I think he might be the equivalent to um, the long leg cat. I can't remember what his name is now. Uh, send out a ninja cat, a robot cat. Let's wait for an angel cat. Angel cats are really good because uh, they deal a large amount of damage uh, to a group. But their health is very, very, very low. And while we're getting into the thick of it now, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so I see you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. I think we're going to have some big enemies coming out here soon. Now, as you can see, that my, my cat cannon can only go so far. That's what the line is. So there's no point in using it. Oh my gosh. God, I hate these penguins. They're so annoying. Okay, let's get another angel cat coming. Those penguins are so hard to defeat. At least they are for now. Oh my gosh, they're knocking back my cats. I need another angel cat, I need another one. There we go. Another robot cat, another ninja cat. Oh, yes! Once the penguins are gone, everything's bread and butter. I'll, I'll let you guys see what these guys look like. I don't use them very often anymore. This guy attacks so fast, that little cow. Now you can see I have a lot of XP now. I don't think I have enough quite for the upgrades that I'm still looking for. I guess I could upgrade this one just to show you. Bam. Yeah, I don't have enough of these. Um, what I like to do right now, I'm working on efficiency, which is the speed of the income. 
and wallet, which is how big the wallet will be when you up, um, when you level it up. That way, uh, because when I started, I didn't have enough to get um, the large amount of cats. And then uh, I haven't I haven't leveled up my health at all because I figure once they hit my wall, I'm pretty much dead anyways. Increase cat production speed. I believe that one is for uh, how often you can press on the cat. Increase the money earned when defeating the enemy. Increase the amount of XP received when clearing the stage. And increase the max limit of cat energy. This one's actually pretty interesting because you'll need to upgrade this one to get your energy to go into battles. Right now my max energy is uh, 110. But if we go back to the main menu and we go into event stage, these battles cost, look, see, 80 energy, 100 energy. It's freaking crazy how much the energy costs with these things. Let's try this one. Angelic Devil. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's try anyways. Looks like this one is really far. These guys don't look too bad, but... Wow, they're sending out guys really quickly here. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on the game so far, so shoot me a message in the comments down below. I think... I think I might want to upgrade one more time. Mm, no. But if I could get to this guy, I don't think I'd want to get him. Uh, also in this one, the guys cost more. So my robot, which is usually 200, is 300 now. So I believe, like, upgrading your levels is essential in this game. And I can't wait to get my robot cat all powerhoused up. I want to see what he looks like at level 10. So right now my robot cat can handle it so that it gives me time to upgrade this. So that I can be ready for the boss battle when it happens. That's usually like the big guys that come out. Usually they don't come out until I start attacking the tower. And I believe level 8 is max level. Which is interesting. Most people would be like a 10 or a 5. My cat cannon again is going to be useless. There, see? 8. Max level. So now I can just focus on sending out troops. I have a robot cat out there right now. Send out a ninja cat. I'll get another stilts cat out there because I know that there should be some kind of angel coming coming down on us. Oh boy, was I wrong there. There was no angel. He walks so slow, oh my gosh. There's another robot cat out there. Maybe I'll send a bull cat out there next. Ah! What the heck? See? This is no angel. This is a seal. That was a lie! This is supposed to be angel battles. Wow, that thing's like pushing back my guys hardcore. Let's get an angel cat out there. He defeated all my guys? But... Angel cat is so weak. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I hope I can defeat him soon. Yeah, this is like... I'm dead. Oh, I defeated. I was defeated! <sighs> no. Without wasting my cat food on that. Be careful to upgrade your basic cat alongside your rare cat types. Keep all your cats powerful. You never know when you need a type that may be handy. Well, darn it. Okay. Well, for the basics of the game, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're here with me every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This is Twine Game. Twy. Out.